previously on Let's Play Final Fantasy XV! And now, the continuation. Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV! Let's find out what happened to Prompto after we knocked him off the train at the end of Chapter 11 there. First thing I want to do, though, let's uh, get the voice acting back up so I can hear what people are actually saying there. And then we'll head on into episode prompto. This one is considerably longer than Gladio's episode. But, I mean, I mean, it's still only a couple hours. But, I mean, it's not just, like, one long, narrow hallway all to the end. I mean, we got plenty of those, too. But there's a lot more optional content for us to go through here. And I'll be doing all of it. I'll see what I can do with the achievements. I know I can do all the achievements in the episode itself. But then there's some other stuff that you unlock and you can do after that. And I don't know if I can do that. I'll have to take a look. Hopefully, it won't be as hard as defeating Core. Holy cow, that took me forever to get down. But we'll see how things go here. I am not as adept with Prompto's controls as Gladio's. But I'll see what we can do. Oh, yeah, I was like, wait a minute, why is it snowing? Oh, yeah, we knocked him off the train, like, just before we met up with Shiva eventually, so I guess he would be remotely close to the area. Where did you get those clothes, anyway? I mean, it's a good thing you got them, but, uh... Oh, okay. Well, maybe he picked some up before he got over here. Where are you going, anyway? I don't know. It's freezing out here. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Well, it looks like we got some markers here. Kind of reminds me of Ocarina of Time, except the desert area there. What are those things anyway? Like, uh, I don't know, maybe power lines or telephone lines or something? I don't know. Well, I can control the camera and... I seem to have some ability to control Prompto's movements. Not really that much, though. But, yeah, I don't know why they give you, like, even a small amount of control over Prompto here. Just catch your breath and get up. You can make it wherever you're going. Well, I guess he figured that, well, okay, Gralia's in a snowy area or something, so go where the snow is and what a way to go. might be able to catch up with the others. Whoa. That's okay. You can get up. Please get up. Oh, well, not much of a point anymore. I hope taking forever to get up isn't going to become a trend. <laughs> so are you guys the humans or the robots? The way their heads are moving kind of seems like they're confused or something. I mean, it seems like a human reaction, though. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, that is a drawback of running this on an M.2 drive. Sometimes the loading screens take too long to read anything. My whole life, all I ever wanted was friends. You got them! But no one ever wanted me back. Ah. So when I finally found people who did want me... I obsessed! I did everything I could to make them stay. Close enough. Well, at least they rolled out the red carpet and for you. Since then, I've lived my life in fear. Fear of what? That one day they'd find out who I really was. 
and they wouldn't want me anymore. Don't we already know who you really are? I mean, of course, this is before the revelation in chapter 13. Whoa! Yeah, I think Arden did that time stitch whatever thing like long before we got to the end there. I mean, like in cha somewhere in chapter 11 there, like close to the beginning. Ah, well, whatever is going on. Well, it doesn't exactly look like a jail cell. I mean, doors are barred. But, I mean, we got stuff around here, I guess. Thanks for rescuing me? It's gone. What do you mean? What's gone? I don't know. But we could take a look around the place. What? What is this place? Well, let's see what we can find around here. So yeah, in episode prompto, we're going to have a whole bunch of these archives, data log, whatever things that'll give us a little more background uh, about the place there. Yeah, you might remember the Scythia from the cutscene at the beginning of Chapter 3, and we never saw him again. Yeah, it does seem kind of odd that they have him show up once like that, and then we never hear from him again in the main game there. Well, let's see what we got here. Research log here, 722, day 189. I received a proposal regarding a way to improve the infantry's performance by leaps and bounds. Outfit troopers with magic cores. Brilliant! Preliminary test suggests sublimating demons for fuel will result in an unstable infantry unfit for the field. Oh. The calculations he provided are correct, though. This could solve all our problems. The Deathless Project marks the advent of a new age. No longer will our soldiers fall on the field of battle. The Empire shall rise, and soon all the world shall bask in our glory. Not if I have anything to say about it. So yeah, I'll be getting all of these things around here, though I don't think there's an achievement tied to that. Let's see, what else do we got? Oh, we got a little upper level around here. I don't think there's any treasure here, though. No, I guess not. Okay, well, let's see if we can find a way out of here. Can I even access my menu? Nope. Okay, well, never mind. Well, I can access, like, the pause menu, but that's about it. Ah, well, there's something we can interact with. What does it do? Hmm? Scanning production code. Huh? Hmm? Unit 0595323. Confirmed. Warning. This unit has been compromised. What's going on? Ah. Initiating retrieval of compromised units. She still remembers you after all these years. You? Who? Huh? What the? What gives? We can't have you spilling blood here. Although, to most, this compound is known only as the first Magitech production facility. Birthplace of the myriad Magitech troopers and demons the Empire holds dear. Your Empire? To you, this place should have some sentimental value. After all, it is your own sweet home. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not the one who almost killed you. You're rough. You are. You really ought to take a rest. Got knocked off a train. The estimable Chief Pasithia will help heal that broken heart of yours. Who the hell is that? The guy in the tape? Oh, how quickly they forget. But fear not. I've no doubt a reunion would refresh your memory. What are you so interested in him for? Where'd he go? I'm guessing he d like did a warp striker. Something. Wherever they are. But, uh, okay, well, that's all we can do in there. But then we got access to our firearm and, uh, blade if we get into melee combat. So, let's take a look around. I don't think there's any treasure around here. Actually, I don't really know where most treasures are. I, I don't think there's, like, an achievement for collecting every item like there was in Gladio's episode. Thank goodness, because this is a lot bigger than that. 
But, uh, okay, so, yeah, just a little, oh, was that, no, that's nothing. But, in any case, yeah, we got these, uh, vending machines that we can use to, yeah, rest up. I would guess we would get all of our maximum HP back if we lost it somehow. But, yeah, we can, uh, save up while we're here. And let's continue onward. What else do we got around here? Uh-oh. Nuts. But in any case, yeah, for now, we just got the handgun. Unlimited ammo, but yeah, it's not very strong. But, well, that's all we got. So all you got to do, just get close enough to the guy, hold down the R1 button, and stop shooting at the wall on. let's see what else do we got and yeah hit him enough times and we kill them so pretty straightforward we didn't we don't really have a target lock like Noctis had in the main game I mean, you kind of do but it's a little different here Shoo. and as far as weapons goes it basically works like with Noctis except we got different Weapon, different firearms and items that we can use to help out. And what do we got here? Whoa! Shit! Was he telling the truth about this place? Evidently. So that's where they make all the robots. And let's see what else we got around here. These shelves oftentimes have either items or another one of those archives. Let's see. Ah, there it is. Research log, year 722, day 294. I acted on the proposal mentioned in my log of day 189. My attempts to infuse the trooper's magitech cores with demonic energy proved Hey. In the most basic sense, however. While the soldiers are indeed deathless, they are far from fit for fighting. Hmm. But I've decided to take a different approach. Rather than relying on demons to power the Magitech infantry, why not use humans instead? Frankly, oh. I had never considered employing my fellow man in any Magitech related experiments. But countless men and women succumb to the Plasmodia each day. Hmm. Rather than let them die victims of an ignominious disease, why not help them ascend to nobler heights? I've lost many a comrade on the field of battle, and I've no intention of allowing any more of their deaths to go insane. Of what? How could he even think of using those innocent people for his twisted experiments? It's a mad scientist. You haven't played this JRPG before, have you? Well, let's see what else we got around here. Whoop. I can't let them find me. So, yeah, if you... Managed to sneak up on a guy. We can stealth kill them. Just walk up to them without being detected. Press the X button and we kill them somehow. And you get to steal their weapon. Not exactly sure how we killed the guy. What do we do? Snap their neck or something? But in any case, we got a new weapon. A submachine gun. Not exactly sure what the difference is between a regular machine gun and a submachine gun. I'm not really an expert on firearms. I'll be honest with you, viewers. Yeah, I know that's a real shock to you. But, uh, okay. So you use the L1 button to use the crosshairs to target something. And then you have to aim manually with them for some godforsaken reason but uh yeah if the crosshairs turn green that's a weak point like shooting someone in the head research log here 722 on day 339 another day another mental breakdown hmm. all my tests so far have resulted in the former soldiers suffering ego death today however i developed a new hypothesis I will continue to sublimate demonified humans to harvest the miasma. Oh. If a sense of self is the source of these snacks, 
Why not inject infants with the plasmodia instead? Whoa. We've little time. If we are to combat the Lucian threat, we must explore new options. I too will set aside my personal misgivings and do what I must for the Empire. What threat? What kind of a maniac experiments on kids? I think you would stop being surprised by uh, by that by now. Okay, where are we? Okay, so we gotta go. Well, let's keep going this way then. What else do we got around here? So yeah, we don't want the soldiers to find us. So let's fire a machine gun in the place. Surely no one will notice us here. Yeah, you might notice while I'm moving around, there's a cross here already on the screen. Everything about this place gives me the creeps. So you pre press the L1 button and you can move Let's like that this. to, uh, what is it, target something. So let's see what we can do. Just walk right up there and press the R1 button to fire the machine gun. And then, yeah, the guy on the right there is vulnerable so there's two things you could do with that you could either uh what is it perform a crack shot which is necessary for an achievement you gotta kill 30 enemies with crack shots so that's what i'm gonna do but you could also overkill them with the x button if you got in melee range and take their weapon like we did with the other guy there but uh, i would rather just go for the achievement now so yeah there you go and then let's see what we can do. You see how it's turning green there? That's because I'm targeting their head. Oh, uh, did I? Oh, I killed the guy. Whoops. Well, let's see what else we can do around here. Ah, there we go. Oh, okay. I generally don't find that to be very useful. But uh, let's go use a technique. You see we got the two bars on the left there. And let's use selfie shots. There's an achievement for doing that, I think, ten times. So I want to use my tech bars for that as much as I can. But otherwise, yeah, we'll just go with the machine gun there. You see, I, I would rather not kill the guy. There we go. Let's overkill them. Get more bullets. Yeah, with the submachine gun, you don't have... Uh, what is it? Unlimited ammo there. Whoops. Okay, got that. Overkill. Or crack shot. And we're good. Okay, so yeah, let's uh I can do this. Yeah, there's other ways you can like refill your ammo and stuff. Or pick up different weapons, whatever you got. But Sometimes, you know, just overkilling them to get another weapon is the way to go there. But where can we find Basithia around this place anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. Episode Prompto. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.